Welcome back to part 4 of our modeling tutorial on the Nissan Skyline series. So we're pretty much just going to be working on our rough shape more in this video and just kind of getting our first lines lined up and ready for more detail. So I'm really just kind of go <clears throat> going in and trying to achieve a uh, rough idea of what our skyline's body is going to be like. So I'm going to bring up the material editor, and I'm going to lower our mesh opacity to 50%. Okay, so just go ahead and hit assign material to selection. And as you can see, it comes out to be see-through, making it much easier for us to work with. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into the perspective viewport. Think about the entire car being a series of lines that just kind of flow in this direction. So horizontally, right? And vertically. Now the entire car is essentially based on horizontal, vertical, and a lot of special angles that are really just in between. So what I like to do is start where the rear windows kind of end and the body starts to bend a little bit and work on that line first. Now one great rule of thumb is you always want to start at the beginning of the line and end at the and end at the end of the line. So this is the beginning of our line. And that's the end. So let's go ahead and start this process. So right above the front bumper at the end of the rear trunk I'm, I'm going to be aligning the vertex selected right here. I'm really just kind of shaving this as I go along.
whenever you move a set of vertices <coughs> whenever you remove a set of vertices that you did not intend to move you can just hit control Z and it'll reverse your selection so see so I accidentally selected this one at the bottom right here I really only wanted these two go ahead and push those out So this is a very rough shape of our body as we're going to be going along and adjusting this in all of our views. Okay, so now go ahead and 
press M to open up the material editor. Please raise our opacity back to 100%. And this will give us a better kind of look at our model. And as you can see, we have a pretty good rough shape with a little bit of more refinement to it down at the moment. Okay, now the next step is going to be to test our symmetry modifier. So you want to go ahead and click on this little button in the modifier list. Get to symmetry. Now as you can see it brings up a very distorted image and we don't want that. So uncheck this button that says slice along mirror. Go to your actual mirror and bring that to zero on the x-axis. Now as you can see we're getting a bit of a disturbance over here and that's because some of our vertices are not aligned at the zero position. So we just go ahead and go back and let's fix that. Please don't freeze. Thank you. Go ahead and bring that to zero. Now if you're wondering why I'm not really just grabbing all of these vertices at one time, moving them back to zero, is that in some cases you'll find um <coughs> you'll find something like this happens. So let's say that this vertice over here was over here slightly and that was over there. Now if I click on both of them at the same time and I click on zero, you see what happens there? It moves the first vertice to zero but then it'll still keep that angle so we don't want that. What is this? <laughs> Go ahead and click zero. So those are all good. Now we can see we have a rough shape of our automobile so far. And it's nothing too crazy yet. Just the basic shapes built out. Um, now what you want to go ahead and do is we're going to practice putting a mesh smooth modifier on it. We're only going to look at it with one iteration. So real basic rough stage is what we're at right now. And we're going to be in this stage for the next few videos, kind of going over how to refine the body. And I hope to see you in my next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this.